The preparation of salt is a small part in the topic of acids and bases, but it is one of the most important topics for your paper for exam. There are three ways to prepare a salt and it really depends on what type of salt you're trying to prepare. There are two types of salts, soluble and insoluble. Let's start with the soluble salts. To prepare a soluble salt, there are two methods and it depends again on the type of base you're starting with. If the base you're starting with is insoluble, then the method of preparation is going to be neutralization. While for alkali or soluble bases, the method of preparation is going to be titration. The only method of preparation for insoluble salt is precipitation. Let's start with the preparation of salt by neutralization. In step one, you're going to add excess of the base like copper oxide to sulfuric acid until no more dissolves. The point here is we're trying to make sure that all the sulfuric acid is reacting. Following this, we will filter out all the copper oxide that did not react leaving behind copper sulfate as your filtrate. Next, we will evaporate the water until the point of crystallization, and this way you've prepared a soluble salt of copper sulfate. The second method of salt preparation is titration. In step one, we're gonna use a pipette to fill up a flask with sodium hydroxide. We will then add drops of an indicator, such as phenolphthalein. Following this, we will use a burette to add the acid to the alkali until the point of neutralization. That's when the color of the indicator changes. We will record the volume of acid needed for neutralization. Then we will repeat the exact same method, but with out an indicator just to ensure that the salt you're preparing doesn't have an indicator with it. Following this, we will evaporate the water until the point of crystallization to prepare the salt. The last method for salt preparation is precipitation. In this case, you're required two soluble salts such as lead nitrate and potassium iodide. In step one, you'll mix both solutions until you form the precipitate. Following this, you'll filter your precipitate and rinse it with distilled water and dry it with filter papers. I hope that this was useful and I will leave you notes about these methods in the description of this video.